Welcome to the TEAK chapter module. My name is Alex Baker. I'm the fraternity's chief information officer. And today I'm here to show you the dashboard of the TEAK chapter module, which you can find at module.tke.org. So first, as you log in, you'll end up here on the dashboard. If your chapter is in some sort of uh, temporary suspension or, or has a pending closure or something, there is a alert up here so you can see what your current status is. I'm currently looking at our Omega Omega chapter, which is a fake group that we use to test things. Here to the left, we have our key result areas. These update each year based on metrics from the Grand Council and then KRAs that are then set by the offices of the Grand Chapter. As points come in, as, as pieces of this are completed, the uh, red lights go to yellow lights and eventually become green lights. You are scored on an annual basis, a little over 100 points per. Um, you can see that uh, KRA total score here. Groups are also then ranked, so you can give, get a sense really in your chapter, uh, how you're performing in your province, in your region, and then overall in TEAK Nation. So we scroll down through the chapter module here. You can see our financial summary, make payment, view chapter statements. Um, on the right hand side, we got some generic information about the group, when your chapter meetings are, when your election is, a preferred shipping address. This here is a great section that we've added in the last few years to be able to make your contributions directly to St. Jude so they automatically count for your fundraising. As we continue down the page, we have some information about our lost brothers. You can see how many uh, teaks from your group we are missing contact information from, how many we're missing scroll numbers or initiation dates. And then as you scroll further down the page, we've got primary contacts from the chapter as well as volunteer contacts as well. The next screen I wanna show is the KRA details screen. KRA details dives more into all of those items that were on the KRA scorecard. So you can see where initiates are or how to complete your ritual check or upload alumni newsletters, et cetera. So this changes year to year, but it is a breakdown essentially of how you achieve those KRAs that are listed on the dashboard. Our health and alumni engagement tabs, we will show you in a separate video. Alumni events, one of the metrics we look at is when you host events for your chapter or colony, we ask you to add those and track them in here and then track the, the attendees of those events. That gives us a sense of which alumni are being engaged with your chapter so then we can better help you to, to better engage your alumni. The next section is our visits area. You can click and view visit. This lists all visits from a uh, professional staff member or a volunteer or, or grand council member. You can see all of those details by default. It shows the last year of visits or you have the option to view all visits. Chapter statement is where your group's chapter statement lies. There's specific details that are listed here about what payment types, um, your chapter statement balances, how much is initiation fees, how much are candidate fees, AMFs, et cetera. And then it also lists all of the payments that your group has made as well that you could click on and it'll open up that payment detail. Overall, this is the dashboard of the TEAK chapter module. This gives you really, it's the, the landing page that gives you all the information that you need. And it's the stuff we are looking at the headquarters level for insights on your chapter. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at tke.org.